In this video I'm going to show how to compile and run a C++ SGL game on these Android devices. So on this tablet I will compile and run the, the game and then on this Android phone I'll compile and run it and I'll also make an APK package on this phone which I can then take over to these devices over here which I've got two additional Android tablets and these are quite old tablets and I'll install the APK package on those two tablets and run it up there so there's no need to have the actual source code and no need to compile and run it on these tablets it will just be the actual installation package so the source code I'm going to compile and run is source code which I've compiled and ran on Windows, Apple OS X and Linux in the previous video and the link to the actual GitHub repository will be in the actual description of this video so I'll compile and run the application on this device here first, this tablet and this is um, Android 14 running on this tablet and the actual application which I'll actually use to actually compile and run it is C4 Droid which I downloaded from the App Store a long time ago, it must be a couple of decades ago maybe even now and uh, I don't think it's available in the App Store but you can find it on other repositories uh, where you can actually download it and install it and so you just open it up and it comes to a screen like this and you can open up a file here and my source code is in uh, I think I put it in data source uh, so this is the directory where I've put it so there's a couple of things which I needed to do to the source code to actually run it on there. It's not actually Android specific things, uh, but I needed to put the actual uh, WAV files and uh, images into this resources directory. So they're all in there because I need to include a directory uh, to actually make the package which I'm going to install later. And I don't want to include the source code within the actual package. So that's they've been moved into there. And I've got a make file in here. So if I just open up the make file. So this is the make file. So another thing that I had to do was down here, um, I had CC equals GCC uh, and I needed to put in uh, CXX equals G++ so it would compile with G++ on on this actual device. I think, sorry, CC I had as G++ previously but I've changed that to GCC and CXX as is now G++. Uh, so once you've opened up any of the files in the actual project itself you can actually compile it then but just by pressing the compile button and because this is a text editor you actually write the software on the actual device itself and this is the output you see from the actual make file uh, if you've seen me running um, it on Linux, Apple and Windows uh, the, the same output comes up on the display in the terminal so that's compiled so if I just uh, press run the actual uh, game actually runs on on here now another thing which I've changed in the source code is here if I press on the high score it comes up with these with these buttons on the screen uh, so now of what I've done is I've added mouse support into the actual game itself but so you can actually play it with a mouse on um, on any of the other platforms but I needed to do it for this one because this one this device doesn't have a keyboard um, so I needed to add mouse support so that I can then touch the screen to actually do the actual operations that are required. So the thrust works as well, and hyperspace. And one thing I like about the way that this actually compiles is if I actually turn the tablet uh, it actually rescales it to, to actually operate in portrait mode so it will operate perfectly well in portrait mode and if I change it back again it rescales automatically to work, work in landscape mode and that happens automatically I haven't had to write any code to do that this C4 droid seems to actually um, support that itself so that's actually compiling and running on this tablet next I'll uh, compile it and run it on the Android phone So the Android phone is basically exactly the same as doing it on a tablet, but I wanted to actually demonstrate it can actually be done on an Android phone as well as a as well as a tablet. Uh, so this is an old phone I've got. So the tablet was Android 14, 
uh, and this is uh, I think Android 8 on this particular phone and I've got just the actual package installed here now the actual version of the package installed here is different to the version on Android 14 on Android 14 it's running version 10.5 I think of uh, C for Droid and on here it's running version 8 uh, of C for Droid um, and I'm actually going to make the APK file on here because on version 8 for for uh, for the actual C for Droid, I can actually make packages which install on uh, these two tablets down here, which are version four Android. Uh, whereas if I compile and make the uh, the APK on the big tablet, which is Android fourteen, they don't run on here because the, I, I think it has a support. It needs it requires um, a more advanced Android to actually, actually run the APKs which are compiled on here. So if you want to run on old Android devices, run something like version eight of these. Um, of the C4 Droid, and the the, the actual um, operations are exactly the same. So I can open the the actual data itself. And you don't have to open the make file. You can actually open the um, you can actually open any of those files and whichever file is here or you actually operate on that directory and one of the things you have to do actually to compile which I didn't show, show on the tablet is a compilation settings and in here you select user make file if I come a bit closer to the screen user make file and then um, if I scroll up and because it's an SDL2 application, you have to select SDL2 application, so it actually links against the STL2 libraries. Uh, so once you've done that, you just click on the compile button. Again, it, it actually outputs the, the make file text. It doesn't take long to actually compile it because this source code isn't there's not much source code to actually uh, run this game and here it is running on this phone as well compiling and running on the phone as well as compiling and running on on the tablet and it should auto scale again and auto rotate so I think that's just really neat the way it automatically does that auto scaling and rotating without you having to do any any coding at all Uh, then to actually make an application app um, uh, application install package on the menu here you select export and there's a couple of things you have to ins uh, change here uh, so because I've got resources in the directory called resources I have to put in in here resources forward slash icon dot png to select the the actual icon for the package uh, and then in here, uh, this directory down here, resources, to include the resources. So I'll just type that quickly, or try and type it quickly. And if you click on OK, it says down the bottom exported successfully. So then if you go into a file manager application, I've got the directory here. And so the source code is here. So this is just the same source code which I would have on any of the other platforms like Linux, Windows, and Apple OS X. And it's created the application APK there which you just select to actually install it and what I'll do is I'll use the other tablets to actually install it on those other tablets but the source code is uh, basically exactly the same no matter which platform you want to actually uh, run the, the actual application on so I'll compile and run it on this tablet first now these applications that are on the, on the display currently which are the Android actual source code running I originally wrote these and compiled them in 2012 and these were written and compiled with the original um, Android SDK on the Linux platform 
and not really compiled on actual phone or tablet itself. And I'll just show them running on, on here. So that, this is actually the original code. And this was just using the standard um, Android graphics primitives, uh, which were available on the platform. And then I made an OpenGL version and the OpenGL version, I just made it so that the actual um, rocks rotated, so you could tell the difference between the OpenGL and the standard version. And then I made an OpenGL 3D version as well. So I started off with a spinning cube just to demonstrate the 3D. Uh, and then it's just as exactly the same, uh, but in 3D. And that was, that was my first attempt at 3D stuff, so I didn't quite get it right, uh, but did a reasonable job. And then, of course, we've got the um, the APK file which I created on the other device, which is here. Uh, oh, which one is it? Oh, yeah, and so as, um, Asteroids SDL APK. So when I click on that, it says, do you want to install package installer? And it tells me all the of the, the security risks. These are just standard things which you get with when you compile something with a C4 droid. And I don't know what the security status of the actual package is. Uh, uh, you know, C4 droid, it's been around for a long time. So hopefully it should be, should be good. But I, I don't know how trustworthy it actually is. It just takes a couple of seconds to install and then I will have my packages here, the SDL one which I'll drag onto my display and then I can run the SDL version and it runs just as well on, on here as it does on the other tablets and phones. I think this tablet is version Android version 4.2, I think. So that's it running on that tablet. So finally I'll install and run it on this tablet here, which I think is Android version 4. Just in the file manager, like on the other device. and the Android SDL APK and it shows the security things there again and it just does the standard install again no no extra files needed just that single file which was created on the other on the phone this de this uh, device is a bit slower than the other tablet okay So if I look in the applications, and there it is running on this device. So it runs the same on all of the devices and it auto rotates and it's a great way of creating a game using an actual Android device to actually compile and, and run it and even write it if you wanted to write in the editor on, on one of these devices as well.